Welcome back to Study From Scratch. Today we are showing batch 18 of our homemade hard cider. And what's cool about this batch, we are using our English cider yeast from White Labs, WLP775. We had some really good success in batch 14 with this, so we're gonna use it again, but this time we are mixing it with our Northern Spy apple juice. Our Northern Spy apple juice has been diluted to a 1.050 specific gravity. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that into our five gallon carboy. As you may have guessed, we were uh, one gallon short on our five gallon carboy. So we had to quickly make another gallon. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the rest in. All right, so we're gonna add our liquid yeast. Obviously, since it's liquid, it doesn't need to be hydrated. And then I'm also going to add five one eight teaspoon scoops of go firm to give it a little bit of nutrient and protect the yeast during fermentation. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We're all set here. So again, this is probably gonna take somewhere around probably three weeks because it's a little bit bigger of a batch and the White Labs yeast is for a sweet cider. So we're going for a sweet cider and that's probably gonna take a little bit longer, a little bit slower of a ferment. So we'll see you in a few weeks. Batch 18 is done fermenting. So now we're gonna take a little bit into our picture, take a measurement and then test some different amounts of sugar so we can give it a little bit of sweetness. Final gravity of 1.008. We want to add a little corn sugar to back sweeten into the keg. So we've got four three ounce containers here of liquid and we're going to add one, two, three, and four grams of sugar to each one. Based on the taste testing, we've decided that two grams per three ounces is gonna work. So we're gonna add a total of 150 grams of corn sugar to our mini keg. So this part's pretty easy. We're just gonna siphon one and a, I'm sorry, 1.75 gallons into our mini keg and then add our 150 grams of sugar. And then we'll show you hooking it up to the CO2 tank. All right, now that that mess is over with and cleaned up, we'll go ahead and get our carbonation inline set up right here. Turn it on. Open up the pressure to this line, bleed it out a little bit. Just 
good. No. Check for leaks. Got a little bit of a leak up here. Put this at 15 psi to carbonate for a couple days. Put her in the in valve. Bleed off the top. Perfect. We'll let that sit in the refrigerator. Now that the keg is ready to go, we're going to take the rest of the juice and bottle it. So first we need to rack it into our bottling bucket. Once we do that, we will add our nine ounces of apple juice, Martinelli's apple juice, in order to bottle carb it. We're going to put the rest of this in our two gallon jug here and let it sit in the refrigerator for a week. Now we'll add our priming sugar, which is apple juice, Martin Ellis, nine ounces. Give it a little stir and get the bottom. We have a little bit of the mixture left, so we'll give it a good taste. Ah, delicious. Anyways, we got 12 bottles out of this bottling session. We'll see you in two weeks when they're ready to taste test. Not everything in this batch is ready, but the keg has been ready for quite some time and we're almost out, so we wanted to quickly taste test for you on camera. So let's jump in. We got our nice new refrigerator that we showed you guys and our keg set up here. So this one was kegged at 20 PSI, five days. Let's see what we got. Turn down the serving pressure. Ooh. I think we have carbonation. I think we have carbonation. We might release it. Oh, it smells good. Can you get me my glass? Yep. Mm. The foam is good. It's actually pretty good. Can you get two glasses on mine? It's really good, actually. Yeah. It's not nearly as sweet as I thought. I was, was going to say it's in the middle, semi-sweet. Semi-dry, whatever you want to call it. That's semi-sweet. So obviously mine has quite a bit of foam. Pretty sure that's because it's almost empty. So it's a good thing we did this now, uh, but it's a little tart. Not nearly as sweet as we originally thought because we did add yeah. sugar to this one. It's really good. I can't really taste it on the tasters. I just had peanuts. So I'm working through a peanut taste in my mouth. It's weird because it's not like that sweet apple flavor, but it's definitely apple flavor. Yeah, and I would say a little, just like a teeny bit of tartness, just yeah. a little bit. That's the good thing about the Northern Spy Apple. It's yeah. not nearly as tart it's as the, the Macintosh. Macintosh. Yeah. Sweet, we'll see you when the bottles are ready. Now that we've taste tested the keg, it's time for us to taste test our bottles on this batch. Now, this has been sitting in the bottle for two months, so hopefully we don't have too much carbonation. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, that was perfect. Mm -hmm. This one is sitting at five and a half percent. After you. What? Wow, that smells good. It's very strong smelling. I was worried this was going to be over carbonated. It's very like, uh, the aroma is very strong. Holy crap. Might be a little too much carbonation. Carbonation. It smells like a sweet apple, but Wow, it tastes, that, yeah, that's not how I thought it was going to taste. It tastes more sour, tart. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not sweet. It, there's too much carbonation, which is, we got really busy the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. So we haven't filmed in a little while, but too much carbonation. It's very, um. But I mean, this tastes just like tangy. a, uh, like a champagne. Mm -hmm. So if you're going for a champagne, this is pretty good. Yeah. We knew this was going to be a little bit heavy on the carbonation because we bottled with some residual sugar. I feel like the color too is a little bit more yellow, like gold, than some of our other ciders. I don't know, it's pretty. Yeah, I would say so. Would you make it again? I liked it better out of the keg because it was less carbonated. Out of the keg, probably yes. Yeah. I'm not too big of a fan of like over carbonated or sparkly. Mm -hmm wines or ciders anyway so maybe not like this it's still pretty good i mean we can drink it but out of the keg it was much better out of the keg it was really good we did it with sugar and we did it with juice to give it a little bit of sweetness and it was really good yeah. i think we've got two more batches in the bottles and then after batch 20 we're going to switch over to force carving and putting everything through the keg system and force carb co2 so you should be able to control that a little bit better co2 pressure and we can back sweeten if we want. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode, Batch 18. Uh, thank you for your support as always and for continuing to watch our channel and seeing us grow. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next week. And remember, always follow your dreams.